Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show how you can go from the mixing length model we uh, derived in the last video uh, to the commonly used log law. So by way of a recap, the mixing length model is a way to approximate the area viscosity nu t, and it's done so using the square of the prescribed mixing length times the modulus of the velocity gradient du dy. Recalling that the uh, boundary layer moving along a wall, uh, which is uh, where the velocity is growing in the y direction, uh, du dy is our only non-zero velocity gradient. Now, the common prescription of the mixing layer is equal to 0.41 uh, times y, which is the distance away from the wall, which is effectively saying that turbulent structures are constrained to this relation as they move away from the wall. And we can use this, uh, together with some other approximations, to come up with a universal log law of the turbulent boundary layer under certain uh, equilibrium conditions, which becomes extremely important in turbulence modelling. So then starting off then with from the mixing length model and recalling that um, the turbulent shear stress in the fully turbulent region is equal to the wall shear stress. So this is the variation of the turbulent shear stress in red and the molecular shear stress in blue away from the wall. And we note that where the molecular shear stress dominates, we have the viscous region. Where the turbulent shear stress dominates, we have the fully turbulent region. So now in the fully turbulent region, we can say that at this point here, minus rho uv is equal to tau wall. So tau wall over rho then is equal to minus uv, which then if we apply the area viscosity model is nu t times du dy. And then we can then substitute in our mixing length model, lm squared times du dy, into this term. So tau wall over rho is equal to lm squared du dy squared, or if we take the square root, root tau wall over rho is equal to lm times du dy. And interestingly, this term has the dimensions of a velocity, as we show here. So this is the dimensions of the shear stress, this is the dimensions of the density. You compute that and you find that you have a velocity, and we call this the friction velocity. And this plays an important part in non-dimensionalizing the boundary layer so that we can arrive at the log law. So let's have a look at this in more detail. Okay. So we draw this out. We have du dy is equal to u tau divided by the mixing length or u tau divided by 0.41y. And this is our universal law. We now then need to non-dimensionalize this. And so we have to come up with a reference length for both the boundary layer height y and the velocity u. So for this we have our non-dimensional distance y plus is our physical distance y divided by our plus distance, our, our non-dimensional distance, nu divided by u tau, and this is a length scale, this divided by this is then a non-dimensional length scale, we do the same for the velocity, so we have our velocity divided by our friction velocity and we get our plus velocity, u plus. So then translating this equation, our universal law, into non-dimensional terms, we get this expression here where we have simply substituted y using this expression here, so y is equal to y plus times by nu divided by u tau, and u using this expression here, so where we have u here, we replace it with u plus divided by u tau. And if we simplify this, then we get this. This is just by collecting up the terms, and then we can solve this by... Uh, moving the dy plus over to the right hand side and integrating and without too much trouble we get 
the log layer. U plus is equal to 1 over 0 0.41 natural log of y plus plus a constant. And this is the log layer. And this is a universal law that says that the velocity in a zero pressure gradient turbulent boundary layer will, also, will always vary um, uh, 1 over a constant times the natural logarithm of a non-dimensional y distance away from the wall. Now this is the velocity gradient and just for clarity you might be more used to seeing this this way around so this is y, this is u, this is your velocity gradient we switch the axes round and then make the y-axis a log scale, this is what you get. And this equation is the straight line here. And you can see that it's a universal law, and we use this an awful lot in CFD um, to help us to simplify the process of modelling turbulence near to a wall.